Hello everyone! Ashley here with Two Gals and a Paintbrush. <laughs> we are Two Gals and a Paintbrush. Sparkly, sparkly, yeah. Here, but I can tell you what we're not doing. <laughs> we are very strong will. That's actually a really joke. Ashley wants to paint everything key lime. I think she says it just to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we can't do. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Please ignore our mess. We're a work in progress at all times. So this is a coffee table. Um, the top is currently a stained wood. Um, I just don't really like the color very much. And the bottom is like a really dark green. So um, I'm going to sand the top all the way down to the natural wood and paint the bottom. Um, I'm not entirely sure what color I'm gonna paint the bottom yet. So we'll see at the end. I'm really excited and I got a new belt sander to work with on this project and I'm excited to use that for the first time. Um, I already tried a little section, you can see it right there, <laughs> and it came off so quickly. <laughs> so of course as always I'll insert pictures of what it looks like before and here we go. is no joke it is powerful it is a lot more powerful than my orbital sander that I'm used to so I'm gonna finish sanding all of this off I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of that um, and we'll be right back for the next step so as you can see I've already painted the bottom and I've stained the top and done a little barn wood effect on top <laughs> So as you can see I've already painted the bottom and I know what you're thinking right now. Ashley, you already painted this coffee table. Why don't you show us how you did it? Well, I actually fell and broke my foot after filming the first part of this video. So I had to just paint it a little bit as long as I could and it was just hard to film the whole process. So this video is a little bit all over the place, but I need your guys help fixing it because this happened. I accidentally spilled some black paint and it got puddled up on top. So I'm sanding it down. I'm gonna reapply more paint if needed but you know, accidents happen. I'm just using my cordless Dewalt sander for this. That was a gift from my husband for Christmas. It's the best gift ever. So I started with a 240 grit, just trying to give it a nice buff and get it real smooth, but it's not taking this paint off as much as I want it to. So I've switched to a more medium grit sandpaper. I think this is like 180. I'm gonna see what it does. This is where the paint was splotched up and I got it off. There's still a little bit of black, but I kind of want it to be like that because I want it to look the same as the whole table. I did sand over the entire table, so now it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go back here with a little more stain, patch that up. So I'm taking the, ah, there we go. Minwax Dark Walnut Stain. You can tell we use this one quite often. So while my coffee table's over there drying, I'm gonna work on this dresser. If some of you remember, I did a vanity with, in a light pink and left the drawers natural. This is the chest of drawers that matches it. I'm painting it the exact same way as the vanity. I'm gonna get started on these drawers. I'm gonna start by taking the hardware out. One of my favorite things to do with old pieces of furniture is to use the original hardware just as it is. So this hardware is actually like gold, but it's worn a little bit. So I'm taking it off and I'm keeping it exactly the way it is. I just think it's a fun little thing to do that lets the furniture still have a true piece of itself, if that makes sense. <laughs> it just shows it's really old and it keeps a little bit of the character. 
to love to use the original hardware just the way it is. Unless it's just absolutely terrible. And even if it's terrible most of the time, I'll just try to clean it up and sand it and paint it. But if it's in good shape, I love to leave it the way it is. All the hardware is off. I'm not gonna bother cleaning it because I'm sanding this down to the bare wood. So a lot of times um, some people use stripper. I don't really like to use stripper unless there's multiple multiple layers of paint because stripper is so messy and it's so hard to get it all cleaned up. So I'd much rather just sand um, with a very low grit sandpaper. I'm using a 60 grit. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me sand all of these but this is what the drawer looks like after sanding so yes you can see there is some dark this is still the original um, paint that was on here but I like that I want that darkness in those crevices because I really like the two-tone look so um, yeah but this is what it looks like after sanding I'm gonna sand with a 220 grit to get it nice and smooth and then I'll show you what I do next so for the top of these drawers, I'm using Restore Finish in Dark Walnut. I love this Restore Finish. It's, honestly, I don't even know what to call it. It basically just restores the finish that you're already applying it to. You can use it for like damaged furniture, furniture that has water rings on it and things like that. You just sand it down and you can put Restore Finish on it and it's as good as new. So I love this stuff. I love the look that it gives to the wood so it's still natural but slightly darker but I love how it keeps that natural look so pretty all right I'm gonna do the rest so we're gonna get back to the coffee table in just a minute but you guys can we please appreciate how pretty this is oh it's stark out here but it's so pretty compared to before I just love this restore finish because it's not as heavy as a stain. It really makes that wood grain pop. I love it. All right guys, so it's too hot to paint outside. It's too hot to go outside to sand my drawers. So I'm making this work in here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start painting the chest. So a few things you need are a damp cloth to wipe off all excess dust. Um, anytime I paint inside, I love to put cardboard underneath the legs of my piece. Um, you need your paint, of course. I am using Dixie Belle Tea Rose. Got a handy dandy brush and a water bottle. For any messes or to water down your paint, um, I'm actually running pretty low on paint because I used a lot more on that vanity than I intended to. So I'm just gonna make sure that I use water, but not too much, that it's runny, and um, to keep my brush wet. So I put my cardboard, cardboard under all the legs, then I'm gonna give her a good wipe down. Cleaning your piece is so important. A lot of people skip over the step and just get into painting, but it's really so important because if you have too much dust on there, your paint won't stick to your piece. If you have dirt on there, like big clumps of dirt, it'll look like bumps in your paint. So it's just really important.
welcome to my living room. <laughs> um, I ran out of daylight last night working on this table and it needed to dry overnight anyways. So, but all I did was sand it down. I applied that stain with a paper towel and I actually ended up sanding the entire table because that stain I was using was different than the one I originally used, I guess, because it's a lot darker. Um, but it's okay. It's, it is darker than I originally wanted, but I kind of like the variation in the wood. I think it makes it look more weathered. So I just wiped it down with just a damp cloth to get any dust or um, dog hair off of it. <laughs> And I'm just going to coat it with this Men Wax One Coat Polyurethane. I love this stuff. Anytime we work with a wood top table or wood top anything where we've just stained it, we love to use polyurethane. Um, especially this one because it really only needs one coat. It's very strong. And it just gives it such a nice smooth finish. We love it. So, yeah. So, all that's left is to seal it and... It'll will dry overnight and it'll be good to go. Sometimes when you're working with a big surface like this, it can just be easier just to kind of pour it on and brush it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. This can be scary because you think that you have way too much, but just keep brushing it out and spreading it out and it'll look good. my coffee table well I finished it a long time ago but I finally fixed my coffee table and it's done again so um, this coffee table just to recap this coffee table was gifted to me it was green on the bottom sort of an orangey finish on top I sanded the top down completely with our belt sander and restained it and painted the bottom French linen by Annie Sloan and then I sort of did these streaks here to make it look like an older barn wood. And then on accident, um, black paint got gunked up on top of it and didn't notice it until after it dried or else I probably would have just rubbed it in and made it look sort of like the barn wood. Anyway, so I had to re-sand it and fix it. You guys saw all that, but it's finally finished. So after um, I sealed it with the Men Wax One Coat Polyurethane, and then I went over it all with a brown paper bag. So a brown paper bag sounds crazy, but it's actually like a super high grit sandpaper. Really, really fine. And when you rub it over finishes, like a polyurethane or a polyacrylic, it actually gives it that nice smooth finish, which is what I was looking for. So it's um, finally finished. It's great. It's sealed nicely so that if someone sets a drink on here or anything, it won't hurt it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to have this done and in my living room. You guys know that we just moved into a new house. It's finally starting to come together. And Leia says hi. Leia, can you see it? Shake. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. You sweet girl. So anyway, so thank you guys for helping me fix my coffee table. And stay tuned for more. I'm finally finished with this beautiful chest of drawers. So I painted this chest of drawers to match my vanity, which I will insert a picture of here. I painted it the same color. This is Tea Rose by Dixieville Paint. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm super excited to have it finally in my bedroom and it matches my vanity and everything's just coming together nicely in our new home. So. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel and like this video and comment down below what you'd like to see from us. Bye guys!